Hello and welcome to the Engineer's House channel. Today we're going to discuss about the Newton's second law. Here's an example about it. As you can see, there is a block sliding on a wedge. This wedge is located on a horizontal surface. We are given the weights of the block and we're going to determine some factors. First of all, we need to know that these objects can be treated as particles and denoted with letters B and A. We are given the weights and we are going to determine the acceleration of the wedge, which is actually going to be A, A, and the acceleration of the block relative to the wedge, which is this one. In dynamics, when we want to analyze a problem, we need to draw the free body diagram. But what is a free body diagram? A free body diagram is a diagram that shows the directions and the forces applied to an object. So first we need to solve the problem kinematically and then talk about the kinetics. We start with kinematics. Here's the body A. This body is located on a horizontal surface, so it is only moving in the x direction and it is not going up or down, so it might go to the right or to the left. But you might like to say that it is going to the left. There is no difference. The important point is that you need to keep your assumption till the end of your solution and not change it. So if I think it is directed to the right, I should keep this assumption. For the body B, we know that this body is located on another object, so it is moving with two different accelerations. One is the acceleration of the object it is moving on, and the other is the acceleration relative to that object, which is going to be this acceleration. If this body was not moving on the object and it was somehow fixed to it, we wouldn't have any acceleration relative to that object. But here is a different example. To analyze this body, we can consider a new coordinate. This will help us to understand it more easily because actually this acceleration is directed in this direction. As you can see in the figure, and it is making a degree with the horizon. Now we know the directions, let's talk about the kinetic and the forces applied to our bodies. If we want to draw the free body diagram of A, we can actually say that this body is applied to its own weights and it is applied to a normal force exerted by the surface below which is going to be N. And it is also directed to another normal force exerted by the body which is moving on it. So here is another N that I can denote this one with N1 and the other with N2. These are the forces that are applied to the body A and we have assumed that this body is moving to the right. So the kinetic diagram is going to be the mass of A multiplied by its acceleration. As you can see in this figure. Now let's talk about body B. This body, as we mentioned before, needs to be analyzed in another coordinate. And it is actually exerted to some forces like its own weight. And we know that the weight is always directed vertically. And it is also applied to a normal force exerted by surface below, which is actually going to be N1, which is the same as this force according to the Newton third law and we know that this body is moving with different accelerations such as this one and this one so here is the kinetic diagram of this body now we know the directions we know the forces we know the kinetic and kinematics let's use the Newton's second law and find out how much the accelerations are to start our calculations we know that this body is exerted to these forces as you can see and if we want to apply apply the Newton's second law for it we know that since it is only moving on a horizontal surface it has acceleration in the horizontal direction so we can only use the Newton's second law for this direction, actually the x direction. And we know that it is going to be ma cross its acceleration. And we know that the only force pushing the body to the right or to the left is the normal force exerted to it, which needs to be resolved into components. 
to lead the normal force in this way is going to be equal to n1 cross sine of 30 because this actually degree is 30 so we can apply it like this the normal force in this direction and we know that the mass can be obtained by this equation actually the mass plus the acceleration of the gravity so the mass is going to be w a divided by g and if we plug in the values we will see that this equation is actually written like this so let's uh, now talk about body b we know that this body is also excited to some forces let me clear these parts and uh, if we want to resolve the components of the forces into the new coordinates we can uh, write it like this if we just this is going to be the weight in this direction and in this direction and if we want to write the Newton's second law for this object for the x direction actually the x direction of this new coordinate which i assume this part to be positive it depends on you you can think that the opposite direction is positive but i would like to think that it is not like this and uh, we can write it like because we know that the force in this direction is actually w into sine of 30 and uh, it is the only force in this direction so we can write now the mass and the acceleration like this and the point is that if we want to use the mass and the acceleration in the right side of the equation we need to resolve this to a new coordinate and we know that it is going to be cosine of 30 and is positive because I assumed this to be positive and this one is actually negative this part let's plug our values in and we will see that it's going to be something like this if we solve it now let's write the Newton second law for the other direction which I again assume this direction to be positive and it's completely up to you which direction you want to think it is positive or negative and uh, we know that it is equal to this but if we want to write the forces we know that the forces applied to this direction are the n1 as you can see the n1 and actually the other component of the weight which is obtained like this and again we will use the diagram here and we can write it like this so now we've got some equations this is actually the first equation this is the second one and this is going to be the last one is going to be the third one and because if we plug our values it will be something like this instead of the mass of b we can write wb divided by g so we can have it here and this is going to be the third equation so let's solve these equations together this is going to be the final phase that from this equation we can obtain the acceleration of a which is positive this amount so when it is positive we will see that our assumption was correct and this body is actually directed to the right now let's find out the acceleration of the b relative to a if we use the second equation obtained actually this was the second equation and if we put the values the values that here we obtain the amount of this acceleration we will see that 
the acceleration of the B relative to A is equal to this amount. Thank you for watching us. If you have any question, you can ask us in the comments. And if you liked us, you could subscribe or recommend it to your friends. Thank you so much.